I remember walking out of seeing The Crow in 1994 with a few emotions. One was a feeling of surprise that the movie was good. I, I don't know why, but for some reason I wasn't expecting it to be. The other was this odd, overwhelming sense of loss that I would never see a new Brandon Lee film. In my humble opinion, the man was a generational talent. But this video is not about The Crow. This video is about a fight scene from 1992's Rapid Fire. I personally think that this fight scene is not only cool, but I actually believe it showed what a dynamic action star and just star in general Brandon Lee was going to be. Rapid Fire is a martial arts action film starring Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, Powers Booth, Nick Mancuso, and in the scene that we're about to talk about, Al Leong. And you would know Al Leong. He, he was in like a Die Hard, Lethal Weapon. You would recognize him. The movie follows Jake Lowe, played by Brandon Lee, who's a San Francisco art student and martial artist who gets caught up in a drug war between powerful criminal organizations and the film, it's a good action film for the night. It's a, for the nineties. It's a good action film for any time. And Brandon Lee, of course, is charismatic, and many of it, of his action scenes are outstanding. As the film builds to the climactic showdown between Lee and Kim and Tao, the Chinese drug lord, Lee's character Jake faces off against Al Leung. The fight scene that occurs next is, in my opinion an insightful look into how amazing Brandon Lee was. Now, I'm I'm by no means a martial arts expert, but I do want to look at kind of the emotional side of the fight and why I find it so special. First, the sequence starts off like a video game boss fight where Ali Young's character, Min, comes down the steps. And I love it because Jake shows respect for his opponent and doesn't race into a confrontation immediately. And as the fight begins, Jake is on the defensive. He's met his match. And I love the scene because he has to figure out how to defeat his opponent. Instead of just fighting it out, you know, kicks and punches, there's actual emotion and struggle. And Jake is constantly having to solve a puzzle that's before him and his opponent. While the athleticism is awesome, Brandon Lee does this incredible job as an actor as he reaches a point in the fight trying to bide time for an opening, it's it's almost like he's axe humbled, but he's allowing his opponent to get a bit frustrated. But it's the grunts, the cries out, the emotion that makes the scene stand out to me. It's not just anger that fuels the fight. It feels like a true struggle. And as they like g- grapple along the fence, we feel this desperation. What's also great is that every attack is countered and then countered again. Both men must have been so proud of their work here. In fact, I found this video of Brandon Lee promoting the film Rapid Fire, and this is what he had to say about this scene with Al Leong. My favorite fight scene in the movie is uh, the one with Al Leong, who plays the character of Min, which is uh, the Asian bad guy's right-hand man. It's the fight that takes place in the warehouse uh, with the fires going and the chain link fence back. I like that fight because it was one-on-one. Uh, it was the first time in the film that we had had the character of Jake faced up with a martial artist of equal caliber. And it was a fight that really had some levels to it. You know, he'd be, uh, he'd be winning, then I'd be winning, he'd be winning, back and forth. I really like that fight. For me, though, the highlight of the scene is when Jake begins to utilize Wing Chun. Yang Chung. Uh, it is something that his father did, and I love it. It's this great echo of Bruce Lee, but it fits the storyline of the fight. This is a moment where the strategy has been changed and it begins to work for Jake. As the fight concludes, Min uses a blade that Jake is able to use against him and win the fight. The scene had something that a lot of fights in cinema seem to miss, especially in you know these action fight scenes. Uh, it has heart and it has its own little storyline. It was two minutes 
of our hero fighting in a way that was emotionally connected with the audience. When I saw the scene the very first time, I I had to see Rapid Fire again to just watch the scene. Like it was like, oh, I got to go see this movie again. When I watch it today, my heart kind of breaks. I know it's hyperbole, but there're not many actors that are able to do that in action films. Connect to the audience in such a way. Brandon Lee is a star. And this two-minute scene is an example of what we lost. What a talent. 